This one's going to be on a program called Filebot. It is the ultimate TV renamer. And um, it's Java, so it can work on um, you know any system that has Java installed. That means uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, all applies. And the you know the basic thing of this program is to rename it to you know the format that you would want to rename it. Um, so let me give you an example of that here. Uh, let me put this here. So I have a few episodes of Saved by the Bell, <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna rename it to something that I like. So I'm gonna do a few episodes here, right? Drag and drop it there. And uh, here's the original files. Now when you match it, you can actually change the format to the way that you like it. So let's click on format here. And they give you uh, you know the regular expressions of how you want it to come out. And this is how it will come out here. So you have to show name, uh, was it season, you know, three, episode one. So this is how it will look like. If you want some other ones, you just select it from here. Or you can write it yourself if you want to do that, right? Um, I believe they have like a readme up here on uh, their website, so go read that if you need any more help on this, right? But let's cancel all that. Let's do the matching, and they have um, different internet sources. So if you're doing anime, then you know they have the anime DB, but I'm gonna use um, you know the IMDB here, all right? And it does a little circle thing. Um, and then you choose uh, which one you know that uh, the you know the, the episodes belong to. So they do have a few here, and I know this one is the college years, and I'll select that. And there you go, it matches it with uh, the correct one. And you see how the naming conventions are. Uh, uh, was that the uh, the title uh, of the show? You know the episodes, the season, and all that, and the title of uh, the current uh, episodes. That's it, all right. And then you put uh, rename. You click on rename, and they give you a, a confirmation here. Let me do this here, all right. So here's the confirmation. You can say continue, and there you go. It's done. Now it's opened up our original stuff, and there you go. It renames it to the format that we had. Uh, so that's the usefulness of this program. Now they do have other stuff. You can see some stuff here. They have this listing. I don't know how. Uh, useful this one is basically you can create a list of whatever you want to generate so let's say for example um, I don't know you go fresh prints or something and you create and it does like a little listing and you can save it to a text file I believe not that important and the renaming thing we just did that the analyze here um, I really don't know how important this thing is but this is what it does. I'm not really sure if this is any useful, but let's go to open a folder. And basically, what they do is uh, split by types. So if you're looking for something, it breaks into pieces, I guess. And inside it should be your files of that folder. So I'm giving an example. I have some WAV files, I guess here. So WAVs or MP4s. Um, there you go. Now I can split this into pieces I don't know it's not that useful and here's the episodes um, this one just you know lets you see the episodes of that season or whatever so I'm giving you an example um, yeah let's do say by the bell why not right in this one um, let's say you do the first one why not And there you go. This is like all the episodes uh, for the first uh, four seasons, and you can save it as, and it'll generate a list. That's basically all it does here, right here, and you can save it as whatever. Uh, subtitles, basically finding subtitles for your movies or your TV shows. Uh, they do have different languages here, so if you're looking for that, there you go here, right, and just search for it. And then you select the movies or whatever it is you're looking for. So let's say this one. And there you go, you have some Troy, and then you can, um, I guess, download it. I don't know. Let's do it here.
download right and there you go you have a download SRT file not a big deal uh, this last part is uh, SFV files these are basically like verification so if you're gonna like give it to someone um, they can verify that that's the the original files and it's not modified it let me give you an example of that so let's say I, I use you know these files I just did uh... that works or no? there we go and what it's doing right now is either you can create like um... sfv files or uh, md5 uh, files or what is this one sha files uh... they all do the, does the same things just to verify your um, checksum and they give you a little code here right and you can save that as a uh, you know whatever file it is that comes out right you can select the one, different ones here and I'll do like a different uh, check code here right uh, that's basically the program the only thing that you know you probably use the most is the uh, the renaming feature where you drag and drop and then uh, output it to the file name that you want anyways that's filebot is the ultimate TV renamer that works on any system that has Java right that's it.